Okay, we're back. We're live, and this happens to be Code Green. But it's a combination of Code Green oh, and Hawaii, the state of clean energy, because we have our host, Howard, Howard Wig. He's the host of Code Green, but he's, it's more today. Why is it more, Sharon? There's a reason. That's well, Sharon Moriwaki, co-host. <laughs> well, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum awarded, well, not Howard, but the building, state building code council, mm -hmm. when Howard, as the chair of the investigative committee, accepted the award on their behalf for energy efficiency, and they are the 19, 20, 2017 Transformational Award winners. And we really wanted to congratulate Howard and, and uh, Gaw Johnson? Go, go, Gar, go, Gar, Gore, Gore Johnson. Gore Johnson, yep. who's the chair of that mm -hmm. State Building Code mm -hmm. Council. So the, the uh, award goes for their actually updating a really old 2006 energy code, which now yep. is, is not totally up to speed, but it is a 2016 version uh, that is going to help us get to efficient mm -hmm. housing and commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. So Howard, you want to... Take it away. Yeah. Okay. Well, we passed, we went from being one of the worst in the nation in terms of energy codes to being among the first. What's a bad energy code? A bad energy code is one that has not updated new technologies. Technology is improving at rocket speed. Government is waddling along at tortoise speed. So we need to bring merge new technology with government policy. So what that, what that means, code. I think we really have to understand this, what mm -hmm. that means is the code requires the technology to be included in the plans of a building, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if they're not in the technology, the new technology, as mm -hmm. identified, is not in the plan, the plan won't be approved. Precisely. And the developer and builder can't build. Precisely. The plan checker shoves it back to the applicant and says, get up to date, boy. And so, you know, I, I just, just a, a thought here that mm -hmm. since the technology is moving fast, the code has to be amended more than just once. It has to be amended on a re repetitive basis. Every three when, years. Every it, three it, years. Nationally, the codes get <coughs> amended every three years. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we know what a bad code is now. What's mm -hmm. a good code? Good code is one that incorporates the latest and the greatest of new technologies which are much, much, much more efficient in every way, shape, or form. And in many cases, the cost has gone down. Cost has gone down. Yep. And yet, there's arguments. There's controversies. Yep. yep. It's not like you could walk in the Rose Garden here. Mm -hmm. um, you may have people shooting at you that say, no, I don't want you to amend the code. I don't want an energy efficient code. Who are those people? Well, it used to be the building industry. Building industry said, oh, it's going to cost so much. Oh, the poor homeowner, the first time homeowner with the little baby, they won't have a new, new You know, he used mom. to be a stand up, you know that. Mm. <laughs> and so I have hung around these people for so long that I think like a builder. Every time we look at a new change, I have cost, cost, cost in mind. Yeah. And I keep it way down. And a component of the new code is called the Tropical Energy Code. We have a whole new climate zone nationally called the Tropical Zone, and Hawaii's amendments are tailor-made for Hawaii's climate, meaning we can drive the cost of construction down in addition to driving the cost of energy way, way, way down. Tailored to Hawaii's climate, what does that mean in practical effect? Give me an example of something that would be in the tropical, tropical version of the code as opposed to, I don't know, the... Um, um, Upstate New York version. Sure, of the code. sure, sure. <laughs> uh, the mainland code, I'll call it that, emphasizes, and we'll stick to homes because homes are simpler, emphasizes tight, tight, tight. If the windows must be tight, the doors must be tight, the walls must be tight, the ceiling must be tight, so that you get zero, virtually zero air infiltration into the home, such that you have to carve out little pukas and purposely bring in just enough outside air. So you won't get stale. Yeah. 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 And uh, the inside air deteriorates if you keep it stagnant too long. Even with air conditioning, it doesn't shoot it out. Yeah, the oh, air conditioning yeah. Just, just within the building. Yeah, it so circulates the air within so that you can have uh, poor, very poor quality. In It's called IAQ, indoor air quality. Now, that's the mainland code, upstate New York. What happens with the Hawaii code? 
If we do the tropical version, we require 14% free vent area in relation to floor area. So that if you have a thousand square feet of floor, you must have 140 feet of free vent. And that just doesn't mean What's window. What's a free vent? So, say you've got a sliding window and it's uh, four feet square by four feet square. You slide that window open, you've only got four feet square of free vent area. The and Need more than that. Yeah. And you have but to. It's optional, though. I mean, in other no, words, no. the window's not open all the time. Oh, heavens to Betsy, no. But, uh, so uh, yeah. you, you have to slide the window open mm -hmm. or open the window before you get the 140. Precisely. Yeah, okay. So we have to have a lot of free vent area and we have to have it on this side of the house and that side of the house so you get three. Cross vent. So yeah. free vent means cross ventilation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And well, that's beautiful. It takes advantage of the trade winds and the weather. And the fact so that why do the builders want that? Uh, it makes well, it easy. The, the production builders on the Eva Plains must centrally air condition the homes. Why? Uh, because hot, the lots maybe. are very, very small, so that you it diminishes the air circulation, trade wind, plus you have great proximity to the, your neighbor. And what happens if your neighbor has a newborn child crying all night? Or a domestic argument. Or mm -hmm. a domestic <laughs> argument, or a, or a large t uh, loud TV. A big TV. <laughs> yeah, loud. You get to hear all about it unless you enclose yourself in okay. and turn on the That's the way it is with limited land. Yeah, pre precisely. <laughs> Plus, it's the hottest area of, of the island. Yeah, okay. All three. So we have to provide air conditioning. Yeah. That, but how does that change your tropical okay, code? Okay, that, that's not tropical code. Then you follow the mainland code. I see. And you build that home as tight as a thermos bottle. And it's about noise. Yeah. But and it yeah, gives the builder options to either go tropical or the mainland code. So precisely. why wouldn't they want that? Uh, why if would you they have find that? the smallest lot I've seen on the Upper Plains is 1,850 square feet, which oh. is small. Very small. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for so, And wow. mo most of the lots are three and a half, four and a half thousand yeah. square feet. Very small. So the what, what I get is this very complicated. No, it's simple. Well, it took you 27 years to do it. <laughs> yeah. How well, simple could it be? Yeah, well, I, I, I have a little experience in that. Yeah. I mean, the point is, you didn't get this award because it was easy. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. We don't get it easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, so, and, and furthermore, you know, I mean, I have to say, and you can disagree. I want you to disagree, but no, our, this I, is important. your award. This yeah. is you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really nobody but you. You've been, mm -hmm. you've been clamoring and arguing and advocating for this for as long as I know you. Mm -hmm. And this is a great success. It's like having mm -hmm. a beautiful bar mitzvah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I was at a, well, never mind. That's a side story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it feel? It feels very good. This is literally, as you said, years in the making. Yeah. And it's going to result in the new homes being about 33% more efficient than the homes We're going to talk about that in the next code. segment. Okay. How does the uh, clean energy uh, feel about it? I mean, you know, wh wh why, did you, why did you pick him? You know, there are a number mm -hmm. of other awards, uh, award nominations, but it was because this had such big impact. 30% savings, as Howard said, energy efficiency, and that is really the, the best way for us to reduce our energy use and get closer to, you know, It sounds like there's something renewable. else here, too. It's, I mean, it's advancing the initiative of, en right. of clean energy and energy efficiency is the best part of clean energy, actually. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that later. Um, but it's, it's that we changed the paradigm. Right. We, we right. moved right. the needle here. He moved, mm -hmm. he moved the needle. And so he's got to get credit if you want to encourage other people to mm -hmm. likewise mm -hmm. move the needle. He's a model for us, right? Well, I, yeah. I did have a bit of help, just yeah. a wee bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> the, but the other, the other, the other, the third criterion is that mm -hmm. this is just the starting point. So we look to awardees to tell us what they're going to do next with this. I right. mean, how are they going to really right. get the benefit? Right. And this had long legs. It, it really can go forward if. You get mm -hmm. the counties to implement, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. yeah. this is the next step, and we want to know also how the awardee will do that and help them pursue that so that, in fact, we get the full benefit of the work that's been done to date. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to know how you achieved it. I mean, because um, that's, that's uh, of course, we, 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 have, we have time to talk about those things, and we will, but how did you, how did you achieve this? Um, against, um, you know, uh, uh, people who would resist, mm 
-hmm. people who give you pushback in so many ways? Mm -hmm. Did you palaver them? Did you call them down to meetings? Did you write them letters and notes and do training? What did you do to change their minds? Yes, yes to just about all of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is years in the making, both at the national level and the local level. The, the builders who used to oppose this are, is the Building Industry Association, and they are an arm of the NEHB, National Home Builders Association. So one thing I did was attach myself to the NEHB because they were creating a beyond code code. They said, here's the national code. If we could improve efficiency by 10%, what would we do? I became an integral part of that committee nationally. I flew to Washington, D.C. many times. And I became so, so you're respected. working it on the national level yeah. in order to bring it back to Hawaii. And, and, and gaining the respect, in all modesty, of mm -hmm. the NEHB staff which translates into respect by the BIA staff. And I befriended yeah. BIA people also. Um, <laughs> and, okay. and, and I talk their language. I abs I've been hanging around with them so long, as I said, I think like a builder. Well, yeah. I think I saw when the governor was uh, signing the actual rules for this, mm -hmm. I think I saw Gladys Maroney, Absolutely. that BIA right. represented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. did get them to yeah. come along. Yeah. That's very good, Arwood. And so they, what did you learn in the process? And You know, in, in, you had to educate yourself, not mm -hmm. over a week mm -hmm. or a month or a year, but years. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you do that? You it's, had to become like an, are you an engineer? By de facto engineer, de, de facto <laughs> honorary by, engineer by, by osmosis, by osmosis, because I hang around How did with you engineers. Learn all that stuff? You said you became familiar with building. How did you do that? You read books, read manuals, yeah, read yeah. specifications, yep. and you left out something. <coughs> Talk to a lot of people who know what they're talking about, and, and you're familiar with every word in that code. Aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, th has that changed you? Has it made you a different person? It's made me. I know it would make me a, a different a, person. A, a de facto techie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I talk. I throw numbers all over the place and throw concepts, and I get the deer in the headlights look, and it, oh God, here I am being a techie again. Or I'll start being enthusiastic, especially you know to a, a, a lay person, and you know, it'll be a cocktail party or something, and I'll say, do you know what the SHGC of Windows, how they have improved? And now start talking about how it works. You keep the... That's the way you gain respect. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> the cocktail party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it lowers the volume of the cocktail party. That was the yeah. problem. <laughs> do you know that it lets the visible light in while it reflects back the NIR near infrared reflectance? Oh, and it blocks out the UV, too. Now, I'll get all enthusiastic about this. And, uh, people will say, I, I've, uh, I see a friend I need to talk to. Nice talking to you, Howard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so one other thing is that, you know, when you, you said before that Hawaii, mm -hmm. with, at the start of this project, before the, the new code was passed, mm -hmm. was behind. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it now in front? Is it's, it even or is it in front? Uh, Are we a model for other places? Are yes. they saying, wow, that guy, Howard, that code in Hawaii, that's really good. Is that what yeah, they're saying? Yeah, that's uh, because I, I have a lot of friends nationally and I uh, review newsletters all the time on the subject. And I, I was just in Pittsburgh at a conference just a couple of weeks ago. And so I know what's going on nationally. We were, with that old jalopy of a code, I'd say in the bottom... 15 states, now we have jumped up to being in the top 10 states. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some states that are really, really progressive and some that are just in the next tier, and we're, we're in the next tier. That's great. We yeah. moved ahead. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what, what, so when we were in the jalopy stage, mm -hmm. did, did that mean that we were preventing um, people who wanted to be progressive in their building, or was mm -hmm. that just a standard that you had to at least meet that and you could do whatever Precisely, ever? Precisely, yeah. It's, it's the code is the minimum. But Nothing. most people wanted to do the minimum if they didn't so, have sure. to do and it. Was, Value engineering, so to say. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. my job to say, this is an old jalopy. Come on, you're not serving your clients. Yeah. Do yeah. something better. And it doesn't cost more money. Or it costs That's more the money. thing. Yeah. And, and after yeah. this, mm -hmm. uh, this break, we're going we're gonna to mm -hmm. go into our next segment in a minute. We're going to talk about how much money you can save and what it all means and how it's going to change 
building and housing in Hawaii. Wow, I'm excited. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's say goodbye. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks, Howard. We'll be back in a minute. Thank right. you, Sharon. We'll be back Aloha. in a minute. This Thank is Think you, Tech. Howard. This is uh, this is Code Green, and this is Howard Wig and Sharon Moriwaki. We'll be right back, and we'll introduce them properly next time. <laughs> <laughs>